Hi, it's Michelle Turner from Movement Lesson. Did you know that as we age, our blood pressure goes up? People think that that has to do also with just the heart function, but what it really has to do with is our balance. Starting at around 40 or so, our balance starts to disintegrate. We don't notice it. I don't walk around going, oh, I'm losing my balance. That kind of conversation happens usually when you're much older or if you've fallen and now fear has come into play. So let me just show you a quick easy tip that you can work on your balance to help your blood pressure and to help your circulatory system. The reason the balance plays in part with your circulatory system is because when you're standing on one foot, you can balance. Now, standing on one foot also has to do with your gait. So as your gait disintegrates, so does your balance. As your balance disintegrates, your heart's working harder on the circulatory system to move the blood around, and that's why it usually happens with age. Now, I'm not saying that the, the, if you're on blood pressure medicine that, that necessarily that conversation with your doctor has to stop, but I just want you to consider that maybe your balance just needs a little tune-up. And here's the movement tip for the day. Now, I know you all can probably stand without the chair there support. The reason I have a small chair here, if you need more support, go with two chairs, is because if the brain is concerned at all about your balance and or falling, then that's what the brain's going to work on. It's not going to work on a new movement. So balance, uh, your heart function, your breathing are all going to take precedence because it has to protect you. Your brain is there to protect you. That's the function of the brain. So learning takes a sub-factor once that happens. So that's why I'm, I'm going to talk about balance today. Just have your hand on a chair. Again, if you need two chairs for support, it's very easy to do. But all I'm going to do is just stand and just feel standing. I don't need my arms for standing. They're down at my side. Just simply take a step out and then bring it back in. It's just that easy. However, notice when I'm bringing out my leg. I'm on top of myself. Some people might be like this, where this is very stagnant. Something to take into consideration, and this is what we're working on. Some people, if you're down like this, it's more of a, an effort, like you're lifting the foot versus a nice stride. Rest for a second. Do the same kind of thing to the side. It's just that easy. And again, notice how I don't have a death grip on the chair. If I was holding on for dear life, then this is the function I'm going to get from my foot. I can't pull over if my arms attach to the chair. So, and again, do it for your height. You can have your hands up here, down here, but I like when my hands are just hanging. And now again, rest for a second, and then try it backwards. A lot of people haven't walked backwards in a very long time. It might sound silly, but this is, again, just walking just one step back. And again, you're not looking for exercise. I'm not looking for counting to 50. It's just a nice, easy stride. Find it where it's easiest. And then put the whole thing together. Step up front and step back. And just feel what that's like to bring the hip all the way through. It's just that easy and then you're walking. So, and you might notice from that that this side's a little different. Walk around, feel it. This is walking forwards, walking backwards. The reason balance is important to when you're walking, when I'm walking to talk to you, if you notice, I have a nice long gait. What that means is I can stand on one foot, so therefore, I have a nice long gait. I'm in neutral. I'm going forward, I'm going backwards. That's my gait. So here's a little something that you can do to work on that.